So can you tell me about um, the first time someone asked to live here, how you started renting to migrant workers? Well, uh, they, they come over and knock on my door all the time. And you got a vacancy room, I, like, I need a place to stay. I need a place to stay. And uh, I've been, well, you're going to stay there tonight, and then tomorrow you decide whether you want to rent or not. They like, they stay here. That's the way they all do. Mm -hmm. When one leaves, another one comes. One leaves, another one comes. And what about when you first met the inspector? Inspector? About a year and a half ago. The first time I talked to him, he talked to me. What happened? Well, he was standing over here by the fence, and I was over there behind my house. And he kept yelling, hey, come in, come in. I, I thought he was just a person that wanted to rent a room or something. I didn't listen much to him, and then he walked halfway over there and says, he said, you don't want to talk to me? I said, no, not really. He said, well, I'm the inspector. I said, you ain't nothing here. He, he's just another man. He said, well, I, I'm going to go get the cops. Go ahead. Before the cops came, when he was first here, did you tell him that you were going to shoot him if he didn't get off your property? No. I told him, get it. Get out of my property, I'll get my shotgun and get, make you get out. But after a while, there was about four cops cars here from Henry County. And he says, what happened here? I said, I don't know, but this guy here, he come asking a lot of trouble here. He said, no, I'm an inspector. Look at my best, I got my best. He didn't show it to me, but he started from there. He said, well, he just come to inspect your house. I said, well, if he talk better, he can do it. If he get wrong, he can he can step in this yard. He said, no, he ain't gonna bother you. And then the other cop says, we just came to make sure everything is peaceful. What is, what is your relationship like with the inspector? Well, I didn't like it, but then that's his job again. If it says it's not right, I just have to tear it up and mm -hmm. make it better. I looked through a lot of inspection reports from the inspector, and he's this property had more more citation than any other camp in Florida. Well, I don't know about that. I know it's a lot, a lot of houses worse than this, but I try to keep it, keep it up the best I can. Anyway. So did your sons help you keep the property nice? Yeah. Is it harder now that they're gone? I mean, I noticed there's some broken cabinets and it's a little bit broken. Some parts, are you working to fix that now or? Well, it's harder, but we have a break. So when, when they started getting that way, we, we replaced them. Do you think this is in livable condition for your workers? It, it's in good condition. Well, I've seen some houses a lot more than this. When they go broke, I, I'm ready to fix it. But now I get any chance. Because I have to take her to the doctor say a few days. I, I take my time, I take one. But anyway, I, keep, I try to keep it up the best I can.